Welcome to our data review in which we will be testing the best sport touring helmets available on the market today. It's time again for that burning question, what is the best sport touring helmet for 2022? To find out, we gave our top helmets to our rider, equipped our bike with all of our measuring equipment and sent our rider out on the road again to collect all the data. He came back with some very interesting results, so stay tuned to find it out. Hello everyone, Liv from Champion Helmets here and welcome to our channel. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Sport Touring Helmets are currently one of the most popular helmets. When we look at premium Sport Touring Helmets, we still get a wide range of performance, especially when it comes to things like noise, which is crucial on longer rides. The helmets we are going to cover in this data review are the Shoei GT-R2, the HJC Arfa 70 Carbon, the AGV K6, the Shark Spartan GT Carbon, the Bellstar DLX, the RI Profile V, the Shoei NXR2, the Scorpion XO 1400 Carbon and the HGC F70. Before we start the data review, first a quick explanation on how we collect our data during the road test. On the left you see a white thermometer that is connected to a sensor in the helmet. The thermometer indicates the inside temperature of the helmet. In the top center you see a decibel meter, which is connected to a microphone that is placed near our rider's ear. This records the sound as our rider hears it. On the right, we see a phone displaying wind speed and outside temperature. In the middle, we see the dashboard showing our rider speed. We did all of our road tests on the same bike on long stretches of highway at an average speed of 130 km per hour. Ok, let's start the data review with the material part. We start with the outer shell of the helmet because this is one of the most important features that will affect weight, comfort and safety. To better understand how we arrived at our results, we will follow our metrics. As usual, the more helmet shells a helmet has, the better, because this means that you get a more proportional fit and less weight. In addition to the helmet shell, we look at the material that the shell is made of, where carbon is the highest quality material. Now let's see how the helmets compare when it comes down to material. At the top we see the Bellstar DLX. The Bellstar DLX is composed of a mix of carbon, aramid and fiberglass. But what really makes it better than the others in this section is the fact that it comes in 6 outer shell sizes which is really top notch. At the bottom we see the AGC F70 and the Icon Airflight. The AGC F70 is made of a fiberglass composite shell and comes in only 2 shell sizes. The Icon Airflight is made of polycarbonate and on the other hand it does come in 3 shell sizes. Both helmets receive 3 stars for the material part. Furthermore, we see no real outliers in this section and they are fairly evenly matched. In general, we see good scores, but will they also maintain? Ok, top! Let's move on to another important part of the helmet, the weight. In our weight metrics, you can see how the scores are constructed. The lighter the helmet, the more stars it earns. To make a good comparison for the weight component, we weight all the helmets in a size M. We use band width here in which a helmet scores more stars as it gets lighter. In general, sport touring helmets are a bit lighter than for example modular helmets because they do not have a flip up chin guard. They are often a bit heavier than racing helmets because most of these helmets do have an integrated sun visor. Now let's look at the results. Most helmets weighed between 1400 and 1500 grams and received 4 stars for this. However, there are no less than 4 helmets that stand out in this section with an excellent score of 5 stars. The most striking helmet in today's review, if we are talking about the weight, is the AGV K6 with a weight of only 1330 grams. This helmet is the lightest helmet we have ever weighed for this segment. With this, the helmet scores a full 5 stars for its weight. The Arfa 70, the XO 1400 and the NXR2 also stand out in this section with their light weight. However, the K6 still maintains its lead as the lightest helmet up to now, especially considering that it is still 60 grams lighter than its closet competitor, the AGC. At the bottom we once again see the Icon Airflight with a score of 3 stars for its disappointing weight of 1720 grams. Ok, nice. Let's move on to the next part of our data review, the visor. When we look at the visor, the results are very close, but before we reveal them we will explain how we arrived at our scores. 
To determine a score for the visor, we look at all kinds of features. Examples are whether the helmet is pin lock prepared or not, and whether the pin lock lens comes standard in the box, or if you have to buy it separately. The helmet earns extra if this is a Max Vision pin lock lens. We also look at the visor mechanism. Is this a simple lever or does it have an advanced spring mechanism? Furthermore, we want to know if the helmet comes with an integrated sun visor, what the field of view is like, if it comes with a free dark visor or any other accessories. Of course, one option is not the other. Some points are therefore weighted more heavily than others. Now let's look at how our helmets performed. On the top we see the Shui GT Air 2, which distinguishes itself from the rest by its advanced visor mechanism. This helmet scores a well-deserved 5 stars for its visor. Furthermore, we also see in this section no major outliers and everyone is reasonably matched. Thanks to their integrated sun visor or dark smoke visor, a solid visor mechanism and a pinlock lens in the box, most score 4 stars. Almost at the bottom we see the AGV K6 which scores 3 stars because of its somewhat weaker visor mechanism and a missing integrated sun visor. So where the K6 did so strongly on weight, it disappoints on the visor part. At the bottom we again see the Icon Airflight which so far has not posed a threat to its competitors on any part. Now that we have collected all our data for the visor, we can test our helmets on the road and here we can find out how they perform in terms of noise and to what extent the ventilation does its job. Ok, top! Now we have arrived at the road test. In this part we start with the noise part. To arrive at the scores for this section we gave the helmets to our rider and sent him on his way with all of our measuring equipment on the bike. Noise is a crucial aspect especially with sport touring helmets. After all you want to be able to go on longer rides and do so in comfort and reasonable silence where noise and wind are kept out. We measure the sound during our road test with a decibel meter which is mounted on our bike. This is connected to a microphone that is placed near our rider's ear so we can hear the noise exactly as our rider hears it. Our rider has ridden long straights on the highway for each helmet and from this the average decibel score is taken. These measurements were all taken at a wind speed between 115 and 130 km per hour. A decibel difference may seem negligible at first, but at values like this every decibel difference is clearly audible, so every decibel does matter and is clearly heard. Also in this section we use a score metrics that we developed especially for our noise insulation section. In this metric we have established bandwidth to map performance or lack of it. The lower the number of decibels, the quieter the helmet is and the higher the number of stars the helmet scores. According to our metrics, a score below 98 decibels earns the helmet the ultimate score of 5 stars. Now all that's left is the question, how did our helmets do on the noise part? Let's see. What stands out right away are the Shoei GTR2 and the HJC Arfa 70 Carbon, which ticked an average of only 97 decibels on the decibel meter. These are exceptionally good scores. Not only are these the two quietest helmets in this segment, but we can also reveal that these are the lowest scores that we have ever measured. No helmet has ever gone below 97 decibels. And we've tested like a dozen of helmets by now, so these are extraordinary scores from the GTR2 and the Arfa 70 Carbon. Also the Shoei NXR2 with a score of 98 decibels and the Scorpion XO 1400 with a score of 100 decibels do surprisingly well in this part. Furthermore, we see that the other helmets also scored fine, but that there is some difference between the quietest and the mid-range. And yes, we are used to it by now. At the bottom we find the Icon Airflight with a disappointing result of 110 decibels, earning the helmet only one star. Very interesting to see the results for noise. Ok, now that we know this, we'll move on to the next part, the ventilation. Ventilation is one of the most important factors for a good sport touring helmet. Especially on long rides and also in the summer, you want to stay nice and cool to stay comfortable during a ride. To determine the score for the ventilation component, we compare the temperature inside the helmet to the outside temperature. A well ventilated helmet dissipates heat efficiently and manages to keep the inside temperature the same as the outside temperature. Again, a brief explanation on how we come to our results. When we look at our ventilation metrics, we use bandwidths to determine a score. If it's not warmer inside the helmet than the outside temperature, we are talking about an excellent ventilation. The lower the temperature difference, the more stars the helmet earns for its ventilation. Now let's see how our helmets performed. In general, most helmets are about 1 degree warmer or equal to the outside temperature, which is excellent. This is not necessarily remarkable since we are talking about the best sport touring helmets available today. So you can expect quite a bit. 
What is remarkable and worthy of mentioning here is that the fact that the Icon Air flight finally competes and did not finish at the bottom. With a temperature difference of zero, the helmet gets a nice four stars to its name for ventilation. Then again, who disappointed us and who managed to take Icon's spot in this section is the RI Profile V. This helmet was no less than seven degrees warmer than the outside temperature and this is really a letdown. This helmet scored very solidly on the other parts, but know that if you buy this helmet, you shouldn't expect a whole lot in terms of ventilation during hot summer days. Overall, the data shows us that the fans do a good job. Interesting to see here is that the Bellstar DLX is the only helmet whose temperature inside the helmet was one degree cooler than the temperature outside. This therefore gives the helmet a well-deserved and a very neat score of five stars, giving it the lead on the ventilation component. While noise and ventilation are one of the most important parts of a helmet, we are also going to look at the comfort and the features parts. Comfort is the only subjective component of our road test and we call it comfort but it's actually so much more than just comfort. This section assesses subjective criteria such as comfort, wind resistance on the road, the feel of the inner liner, the finishes and the overall feel to the helmet. These are criteria that are difficult to capture in hard data and that is why for this part we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider. What's nice to know here is that our test rider also is the one who tested all the helmets so he can compare the helmets like no other and he can make an honest judgment about how they compare to each other. All these helmets have been extensively tested in an individual review and a score has been awarded for comfort. Since all these helmets are the best you can get, we can already reveal that all the liners are removable, washable and antibacterial. Bell, Shark, Arai, HJSA and the Shoei NXR2 all earned 4 stars in this section because they felt extremely comfortable and behaved very comfortably on the road. However, the GT Air 2 is the helmet that comes out strongest here and this is not because only the liner was comfortable but the helmet is exceptionally well finished. The liner feels very comfortable and you can feel that the helmet has been wind tunnel tested and the overall feel to the helmet is just really strong. Because of this our test rider chose the GT Air 2 as the most comfortable helmet and therefore the helmet scores the full 5 stars. One additional detail he shared with us was that the inner lining behind the ears was of a slightly softer material. They did this because this is a more sensitive area. He indicated that this was indicative of the overall comfort and the finish of this helmet. This was interesting to see. Our writer mentioned that the four star helmets were all helmets where it was very difficult to find a weakness. Because they were such good helmets but there was still one part that was not totally optimal. With the GT Air 2 our writer could not really find a weakness. Furthermore we see that the Icon Air Flight is back in its familiar spot with a poor 2.5 stars for comfort. Our writer mentioned that the lining felt somewhat basic and the behavior of the helmet at higher speeds on the highway was a bit tiring and less streamlined. Also the finishing of the lining left somewhat to be desired. So now that we know this we move on to the options or the feature section. Before we announce the final results it is crucial to see how these helmets do in terms of features. For this section we looked at the extra that the helmets comes with. In doing this we have taken in account the options that the riders have asked us for the most. In our features metrics you can see how many points are awarded per option. Of course, one option is not the other so more weight is given to the important options that contribute more to a nice riding experience. If a helmet has speaker pockets it earns half a star. For quick release it also earns half a star and for a glasses preparation a quarter star. For the finish a quarter star can be earned which includes the paint, screws, stitching, glue and other materials used. For communication options half a star can be earned. The levels here range from built-in speakers, the ability to hide the communication system away into the shell to a built-in microphone. Then we look further into the interior lining options. Think about the ability to customize the lining, the included pads in the box, etc. Then we also have the other options. Here you can think of additional safety options such as drinking options, special materials used and special options that a shell offers. Next we see homogalations. This is a very important one because these are safety certificates and this indicate how safe a helmet is and how heavily a helmet has been tested. Also from 2023 all newly introduced helmets must be ECE 2206 certified but also think of a FIM certificate which many circuits require. It it costs a lot of money for manufacturers to get additional certificates because more testing is required. This is a part that really matters even though it is sometimes overlooked by inexperienced riders. Therefore, our helmets can earn a full star on this part. 
Furthermore, helmets can earn a full star if they are wind tunnel tested. Again, this is a costly way of testing for manufacturers and the helmets that are wind tunnel tested are often the ones that are at the very top anyway. The other helmets are tested in simulation softwares which gives a much cheaper and less effective result. So much for how the helmets get their scores. Now let's look at the results. Most helmets have scored 3 stars on this section thanks to their strong liner options and safety. But it's the Shoei NXR2 that just managed to trump its competitors with a score of 3.5 stars. The NXR2 owes its score to the fact that this helmet is wind tunnel tested, has a quick release and a good communication system preparation. And this helmet is the only one in the list that has the new ECE2206 certificate. And that last one just made the difference. Now that all of our data has been collected, it is time to put all the data together Together so that we can find out which helmet scores well across all criteria. It is interesting to see that the Shoei GT-R2 and the HEC R570 Carbon score particularly consistent across the board. Nevertheless, the Shoei NXR2 and the Bellstar DLX are tough components thanks to their excellent weight and ventilation. Also, the Shark Spartan and the Scorpion scored fairly consistently with only one or two parts where they were just a little bit less. But what do these scores mean when we start looking at the price of the helmets? So. Now we have come to the last part, which is the price quality. Each helmet performs differently in different parts, but perhaps one of the most important factors that also play a role is the price. Because if two helmets perform the same, but one of them has a lower price, then this one scores relatively better. To determine the price quality score, we look at two things. First, we calculate the price per earned star, which says something about the price. And second, we look at the average number of stars, which tells us something about the quality. When we enter these factors into our formula, we arrive at our price quality score. This score gives us a much better idea of how the helmets compare and how effectively their price is related to their performance. This is the last score we add before we get to the final result. Okay, at the very top we find the Shoei GT-R2. It gets the highest price quality score of 4 stars. This is because it has both a nice average star score of a 4.2 and it earned a nice score of 18 euros per star. Next we see the HSA Arfa 70 Carbon in second place with a nice average star rating of a 4.1 and a nice score of 90 euros per earned star. Just below that on a shared third place we find the Shoei NXR2 and the Bellstar DLX. Of the Shoei GT-R2 and NXR2, the HEC Arfa 70 Carbon and the Bellstar DLX, we can say that they consistently scored strongly on almost every part, which of course you would like to see. They are the all-rounders on this list and they have never failed to deliver. If we look further, we see the Scorpion and the AGV in shared 5th place, with both having an average star rating of 3.7. Then in 7th place we see the Shark and in 8th place we see the Arai. At the bottom we see the usual suspects, the AGC F70 and the Icon Air Flight. Okay, nice. Now that we know all of this, we have added everything up and with this we have arrived at the final verdict. In this section we will finally find out which helmet can call itself the very best sport touring helmet of 2022. To keep it exciting, we start at the bottom. On the 10th place we find the Icon Air Flight. This helmet, except for its good score on ventilation, was at the bottom of the rankings in every component. Above the Icon Air Flight, we encountered the Arai Profile V, which was strong on weight, its visor and comfort, but really let it down when it came to ventilation. Next in spot 8, we find the HJC F70, which scored strongly on its weight, visor and ventilation, but let it down in the noise part. Then in the 7th place we see the Shark Spartan GT Carbon. This helmet actually scored consistently strong and only let down in the feature section with a moderate 2.5 stars. Next we see the AGV K6 which also scored consistently well on every part but did not really excel in anything. Okay, now we have come to our first helmet from the top 5, the Scorpion 1400 Air Carbon. This helmet got the full 5 stars for its lightweight of 1450 grams and scored high on all other parts as well. Only unfortunately it failed in the features part with a low score of 2 stars. Then on the fourth spot we find the Bellstar DLX with a nice final score of an 8.2. The DLX performed well across the board and it was the only one in our list to achieve a temperature difference of 1 degree cooler between the inside and the outside temperature. Now let's get into our top 3. On third place we find the Shoei NXR2 consistently strong on all criteria and a real all-rounder. The helmet's weight of 1367 grams makes it one of the lightest helmets we have ever weighed for this segment. It is wind tunnel tested and also carries the new ECE2206 certificate. Okay, and now the most exciting question of this data review. Who is the best sport touring helmet of 2022? The Shoei or the HSA? 
The answer to this question is the Shoei GT-R2. With its overall score of an 8.8 .8 and a cost of 18 euros per star earned, it is the right for winner that scored well in every area. It was singled out by our rider as the most comfortable and offers an extraordinary amount of options for a very well and reasonable price. Both helmets were the quietest helmets we have ever tested, so it was extremely exciting until the last part because these helmets really didn't have any weaknesses. The minimal difference came from comfort and the advanced visor mechanism of the Shoei. So an extraordinary and small margin. This concludes our search for the best sport touring helmet of 2022 and we have come to the end of this data review. We went through all the helmets carefully and our test rider then tested them all on the road with our measuring equipment. This he did so that we could select the winner based on actual values. Although most helmets performed well, Shoei's GT-R2 did better and is therefore the rightful winner. Do you want to know more about the GT-R2, the Arfa 70 Carbon or any of the other helmets? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, where you can see more of this kind of data reviews and road tests. Also take a look at championhelmets.com where we have the lowest price guarantees and nice discount bundles. If you have any further questions or you need help with your order, please feel free to contact us. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets, thank you for watching and I will definitely see you next time.